I'm Liz Barry Cravis, and I'm a pediatric neurologist. I work at Rush University Medical Center, and I've been in the Fragile X field since 1988, and working on translation of treatments, new treatments for people with Fragile X since the early 2000s. Right now we have a really exciting new trial that's a completely new design that's never been done in not only the Fragile X field, but a, a developmental disability field. Um, it's a trial where we're actually looking at whether a drug can amplify learning. What we decided to do is try to look at learning in the youngest kids because they're learning at the fastest rate. And we thought, what do little kids with Fragile X, what are they learning? Well, they're learning language. So we're doing a trial to study whether language can improve um, when patients are treated with the drug. We're looking for children who are age three to six years old, and that means up until your seventh birthday. So from age 32 months until the, the, your seventh birthday, you can join the study. And you can turn seven in the study. We just have to enroll you by the time you're seven. So the way it works is people come in the trial and we have a period of time, we have a safety period where you have your dose of either medication or placebo optimized and then we start a language learning intervention and um, the language learning intervention is really nice because the way we deliver the intervention is we teach the parent how to deliver the intervention to their own child in the house all the time uh, through a Bluetooth and Skype mechanism. And so every parent that joins the study will get the language intervention and will um, have the benefits of learning um, all the stuff that our speech therapists can teach you um, using Skype and working with your child. In a lot of clinical trials, you have to come back every week or two to check in or have blood drawn or whatever. We, because this is little kids, we really tried to minimize the blood draw. So there's only five blood draws across a whole 21 months, which is almost two years. So it's not as bad as some trials with that. And you have to come back about every two months. Um, so it's not really, really frequent visits. We also have travel funding, so people can have their, if people need to travel from a distance to get to a site, you can be compensated for that, for all of your, all of your flights or hotels. Um, and so we really want to be able to offer the study to anyone in the, to anyone in the United States, even if you don't live right at a trial site. I think a lot of our families that have joined the trial, you know, even if the drug winds up not working, they have felt like doing the language intervention has been really helpful because they've learned how to approach their child to bring out more communication and sometimes to help with behavior surrounding communication. Um, it, we have families that have even said that this has really been life-changing for them because they just didn't know how to approach their, their child. And so this is where you're going to get a speech therapist in your home telling you how to, um, how to work with your child and improve their language. So if people want to join the trial, um, we have a national coordinator here at Rush. Her name is Katie Friedman. And we just have you either call us or email Katie. Or you can email me because, as everyone knows, I'm in my email until 3 in the morning every day. And we will get back to you and we will talk to you and we will find out if you qualify and then we will um, send you to the site closest to you. You can also sign up at the local sites and they are all posted on clinicaltrials.gov.